Hello, C2C Berlin. I'm Kenny Foster. Man, this has been a great week. Thank you so much for coming out in mass and supporting country music. See you rusted at 85k. I see you. Have you been to the C2C in London before? Uh, no, I've not, and this is my first year, so I'm I'm hit. I'm doing a double whammy. Yeah. Fun, yeah. And you're hitting the ground running. We love the music that you've uh, been uh, singing out here for us. Thank it's, you, man. It's fantastic. The one song that stood out for me the most was Stan. Oh, yeah. I love that song. Thanks, man. It's uh, really emotional, and um, you know, it, it just it, it's something that a lot of people can relate to. I would say. Sure. So uh, I think I think on all sides of the aisles, I yes. think people relate to that song, and I think that's kind of I think speaks to our interesting role as artists, where we get to say things that everyone can rally around. Yeah. Because they figure out what they all like. And from there, we can start having a conversation. Yeah. And with the inspiration, what drives your inspiration to write these great songs, to write these songs that are not just out drinking, these are songs that really hit people, really touch home. What inspires you to do that? Um, life's just too short, man. It's just too short. And uh, I, I, I love having a good time, and sometimes you need a good time to forget. And sometimes you just need that release, that sort of, ah. But the problem is if there's no follow-up to that good time, then you've entertained yourself and you've never really gotten to the heart of the issue. So all you're doing is just paving over it. And uh, I want to get to the heart of matters. It's the heart that matters more. And I just, I, I want to wrestle with these things that all of us as humans go through. And it's just as much for me as it is for my audience. It's just as much. The, Listen, man, we're all in this together. We all, we're all cooking with water, as the Germans say. We all cook with water, I was just told. And it's a, I feel like that's a great sentence and sentiment in that when we can find these commonalities of humanity, we're doing something more than just entertaining. We can, we can have a conversation. And if I can move people even to thinking about something they hadn't thought about before or helping them find words for how they feel then i feel like we're going to be better humans you know <laughs> like yeah. we I, i'm not as interested in fans as i am in friends and when people relate to what i'm doing then we've just become part of this family right this human family and to find out that there were some country music fans around here blew my mind man it was uh but it comes as no surprise either right when yeah. you when you find a uh, good-hearted community of people I mean of course they're gonna like good music <laughs> and how do you feel about these fans as opposed to the fans back home can you relate to them can they relate to you well that's what's interesting so we just really had the two shows uh, yesterday but man this this crowd sticks with you they're they're here and they're listening and they want every little nuance and I was uh, admittedly I was worried that because I'm a very I like language a lot, is the, the English language only, I'm sorry, I, I'm no good at the others. But I, I was worried that the nuance wouldn't come through, but man, everybody's like understanding of the, the number of comments I had about songwriting and appreciating that angle. I was like, great, because that's what I do, that's what I love. And so it was, it was really affirming, yeah. uh, it, was really, it was really cool. And they're a little shy, which I think is really nice. Yeah, they're shy to speak English. It's, it's always like that. But, but they're so good at it. Yeah. And everyone's And everyone's like, I'm sorry, my English no good. And I was like, it beats the hell out of my German, I promise. Exactly. So tonight, you're performing yes, sir. for this new venue, mm -hmm. new audience, mm -hmm. pushing the country music. So Keith Urban's going to be out on that stage with you. Yes, it is crazy. Does it make you a little bit nervous? Do you have any rituals or anything to help calm you down before going out there and opening up for Keith Urban? So that's funny. Um, thanks for making me nervous, by the way. Um, <laughs> no, the uh, rituals. It, it's a weird mixture with me. Um, usually whiskey helps. Um, it just takes the edge off a little bit, but then in the midst of the whiskey is prayer, and that seems really interesting, and some people might be like, hmm, I don't know about that. But no, I, I, I'm, th I'm thankful for every moment that we get to walk on this earth, and I want to give my whole self to the audience each time that I step out. So I try to 
find that center where I can just be myself and not be nervous about the fact that yeah. there are hundreds or thousands of people on. When you're out on the tours, um, do you ever watch the bands? Do you ever, um, tonight, you're going to go out there? Yeah, I'm watching the, everybody tonight. Man. Everybody. Yeah, I'm so excited. This is going to be such a great set. And listen, man, I'm always learning. Yeah. I mean, part of this recognizing our own humanity vibe that I'm giving out is real. I'm, I don't feel like I'm ever going to finish. I'm never going to reach the pinnacle. Like, there's never going to be a point where I'm like, done learning, got it. Don't need to know anything else. No, it's always going to be... How do I get better? What do they do that I love? What can I steal from so and so? You know, just how do I make those things my own? And what do I recognize they do really well that I can just be in awe of and not even want to be a part of because I know that they do it the best? It's, it's uh, yeah, it's really important for me to see how everyone else is, is expressing their art. It's been a fantastic week. Thank you guys for being so kind, so loving, so fantastic.